has those same firm chin and those splendid cheek muscles. By George, not he could be ever really great, you understand. Oh, is that so? And the name of Saint Bridget, why not? Well, you see, all the really great cornet players were Irish. Oh, Clark, oh, Mendez, oh, Klein. Oh, professor, we are Irish. Oh, that clinches it. Sign here, Miss Peru. That'll be seven dollars earnest money. Nothing more due, payable at opening band practice. And yes, I'll need the boy's measurements for his uniform. His uniform? Yes, his uniform. Hello, son. And yes, that is also payable at opening band practice, which gives him four weeks to imagine, to anticipate, at no cost whatever. Never allow the demands of tomorrow to interfere with the excitement and pleasures of today. Would it have a... A stripe, yes, a wide red stripe on each side. You'll have to excuse me, Mr. Professor. We can't come to say three words a day to us. To go to the plane of bad would be a miracle. Be gone with you, Where are you from, me, boy? Gary, Indiana. I knew it's Gary. Where did you say? In fact, Gary Conservatory was my alma mater. Was she now? Yes. <laughs> How to do, Miss Peru? How to do, Mr. Hill? If you want to put me with him in the band, we're not interested in my Marion, why not let the boy's father decide? The boy's father is dead. Oh, that's all the more reason why you should have something like this. My brother is a ten-year-old problem child who can't understand why his father was taken away. Would you care to explain to him? He's been brooding about it for two years. And as to your musical tricks, why don't you go into business with some nice carnal man who sells gold-painted watches and glass diamond rings? Musical tricks? Miss Peru, I hope. I, I get the feeling she likes the idea. A little cautious, perhaps, uh -huh. but I admire that in a woman. Just keep me alive and I'll be back later in the week. Uh, Professor, about the boy's measurements, I make all of his clothes. Sleeve 21. Yes. Waist 18, crush 14. Um, Fine, that's all I need. I must get back to the hotel. Uh, Professor, do excuse Mary. She's not really that. <coughs> yes, I understand. I'm sure at heart she's as lovely as yourself. Good day to your widow, Peru. Has he gone? He has, but I hope not forever. Don't ever think about your future, darling. Gary Conservation, Class Vault 5. Now, darling, now, Mama, surely a girl's future on every fast-talking, woman-chasing, traveling salesman that comes to town, and the fact that he claims his commodity is music does not, in this particular case, impress me. All right, darling, all right, but it's a well-known principle that if you keep a flint in one drawer and a steel in the other, you'll never strike up much of a fire. Mama! With prop, with prop, I know you're there. Oh dear, will you please go to the library and ask Miss Grubb to give you the book I set aside? It's the Indiana State Journal, 1890 to 1910. Why, Hannah? You won't have to talk to anyone. I've written it all down. Thank you, dear. What are you up to now? Why do you need books to have this hour for that? I have a feeling the Indiana State Journal will help me poke some large holes in the professor's claims. 